Dude. This is brutal. What? It's going to be interesting to see what this all has to do with what's happening in the future. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to watch something new. Three Body Problem Countdown, Episode 1. Very intrigued to watch this. Pay no attention to that sound. I watched the previews that just happened to come on a week ago or something like that. And I watched them half-heartedly. Like, I wasn't really paying attention. And I got drawn into it, you know. So, I, all I know is it looks like it's got aliens or something in it. But I really don't know. I didn't really obsess on the previews. I just, something about it looked really, really good. And then, then I saw this article about the dude that, this guy that was going to try to, basically he wanted to make three body problem, like the new Star Wars of the 21st century or something. I know it's based on a book, I think. And he was kind of obsessed with it. And I think he was like a billionaire or something from China. But he was poisoned like five years ago like supposedly i think it said right after netflix agreed to go ahead and make this and he was poisoned by a colleague or something like that i really don't know the story but the idea that he wanted to make it into sort of a star wars kind of thing or at least that that kind of a cultural phenomenon sort of super intrigued me you know so let's get into it, man. It's the first, I looked kind of ran through, looked at the time of this one's an hour, but there's one that's as short as a Buffy episode, 44 minutes or something. And then most of them are between that and an hour, it looks like. Anyway, I'm very intrigued to just at least get to see what this is like. So let's check it out. Like, subscribe, comment, and if you like full reactions, the link to my Patreon is down below. All right, let's do it. Beijing. I hope it's in English. Mostly. Shit.你别着他 Oh my god, this is wild. Yeah. <laughs> Strike This is fucking wild.
Wow. <clears throat> anti-intellectualism of revolution. Kind of anti-intellectualism. <laughs> Holy fuck. This has a uh, Westworld vibes, this intro. 2024. Did they give the year of the previous thing? It looked like 50. No. It looked like 70 years ago or something. Or it could have been in the 70s or 60s. Something that would have been helpful for a change. I told them we need to be involved. Mao's revolution. They're all holding the little red book. Which I think was the 60s. Dr. Sadiq Mohammed, born in Karachi, studied cosmology and theoretical physics at MIT. Strange suicide note. Another countdown. One of the betting sites had him pegged as a favorite for the next Nobel Prize in physics. You can bet on that? You can bet on anything, uh, boss. Uh, it gets messier. History of mental illness, previous suicide attempts, anything like that? Nothing. Just like the others. Just like the others. Nice. <laughs> Getting some serious physics shit going on here. That's what I'm down for, baby. I was a physics major. I knew you'd be the last one here. Here until the lights go out, boss. I keep thinking if I just stare at the screen long enough, something will come to me. They've shut the project down. But the power's on till midnight, so. You taught us it doesn't matter how beautiful your theory is. If it doesn't agree with experiment, it's wrong. I think that was fine, Min. But yeah. <laughs> According to the experiments, all of our theories are wrong. All of the physics of the past 60 years is wrong. Science is broken. You were just a baby. You're not throwing this away, are you? Oh, Saul, you mustn't. You still demonstrate great potential for future scientific accomplishment. Miss my window. A person who has not made his great contribution to science before the age of 30 will never do so. How old are you? 31. 32. Einstein wasn't right about everything. If anyone can figure this out, it's you. Sol, do you believe in God? Is that what it's come to? No. I accept that this defies all known laws of physics. I don't think that's an argument for God. So what's left? Well, it's interesting that God and physics have been brought up a couple times here. She about to kill herself? Uh huh. Wow. Confidence. <laughs> you know you're counting me, huh? I've done it before. Sad little. possible a bar has gone to shit. Second law of thermodynamics, eventually everything turns to shit. Mm. Physics is turning to shit. Bars can't be far behind. Explain to me what's going on. Okay. So are you ladies gonna sing a song? No. No? What do you mean? Are you not, not singers? No. <laughs> All right. What do you do then? Wait, hold on, don't tell me. Let me guess, you, you probably are. I design self-assembling synthetic polymer nanofibers. I started a company that manufactures them for a variety of potential medical energy and materials applications. <laughs> and I'm a senior researcher in the theoretical physics group at Imperial College. I'm doing a meta study analyzing the results of particle accelerator experiments around the world. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, enjoy it. Bye. <laughs> Why is everyone for you? 
About a month ago, all the major accelerators started generating results that make no fucking sense. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday, <laughs> and a regular crowd shuffles in. It's funny. Come over, smoke with me. That shit will kill you. Yeah, so will this. Wow. It's been a while since particle physics, but this can't. Nope. It can't. Maybe it's a hack. In every accelerator on the planet, I went through the CERN code line by line. How many lines is that? It's a lot, Augie. It's a lot of fucking lines. Okay, so it's a hardware issue. Every component checked four times over and every collider from here to Beijing. Okay, so what is Saul saying? He says it's impossible. What about you? <sighs> These experiments teach us how the universe works. And that? That's fucking Alice in Wonderland. Huh. God, this is so good. Now he calls. I texted him to come three times and he wouldn't even text me back. Oh, she's seeing it. See how you like it. You guys are like 14 year olds. They good. It's probably high as fuck. He's telling them that. Hey. Oh, hey, hi. See what? Dad. You're right, love. Okay. Oh. Very yeah, uh, just killed herself. Excited to see Jim. Well, it's not exactly ideal circumstances, is it? How long's it been? It's been a while. Fuck, I did not sleep at all last night. Why not? I don't know, Jack. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's because Vera's killed herself. To Vera? Well, that's Sam from <laughs> Game of Thrones. That took me a minute. Have you heard that Jin's got a new boyfriend? Don't worry. I bet he's a total squid. Okay. So this is Prithraj? Just Raj, mate. Nice to meet you. What's going on here? I was trying to figure it out on YouTube. Winner of the Epker Award. Can't tie a tie. Well, Lord Kelvin thought that atoms were not at vortices in the ether. Oh, did he? He also thought that they were all... <clears throat> is Olga here yet? She said she's running late. This is awesome. <laughs> This is so weird. I wonder what the explanation's gonna be. I'm so sorry for your loss. We all loved your daughter very much. Thank you for coming. Jin's looking good. Oh, he's looking good as well. <laughs> well, fuck off. Coming down to you. <laughs> it definitely would make you think of God. Cause it doesn't seem like physics. Strange question, don't you think? Uh, yeah, it's not as strange as jumping into a Cherenkov tank, but sure. Or was she acting weird, or...? I don't know. Uh, yes, but everything has been weird lately. That project was her baby, so when it was shut down, it was you like... shut down? Well, I can't justify using enough electricity to power a small town when you're getting nonsense results. Yeah, not just Oxford. Every major accelerator on the planet. She must have been depressed about that. Yeah, but to kill yourself? 
She was a bit of a killjoy, if we're being honest. Don't be a dick, Jack. Yeah. You were a favourite. She would have happily kept you on as a research assistant until the end of time. But for the rest of us, oh, good luck. Well, that's fucking rich, considering you're the one who quit. And trust me, all of you fucking noble academics, you'll be coming to me and Augie for loans in a few years. Isn't that right, Augie? Augie! What did you call your company? The Nanotechnology Research Centre. That's probably the most boring name I've ever heard. Will, how's, uh, how's teaching going? I have about um, one kid in every class who actually listens to what I'm saying, and the rest are just there for their mandatory science course. <laughs> we were all that one kid. Yeah, that's true. Are you two fighting right now? Oh, fucking oh, yeah, no. <laughs> You want to know as well? Jack, I love you, but I sort of got if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to punch a hole straight through your head. I'm just going to grab a cigarette. I'm so she's the only one that knows her friend. Oh, that's frustrating. You need a little help. Thank you. It's not easy, is it? Being a person in this fucked world. I understand what you're going through. I doubt it. It's not hopeless, though. The Lord has a better way. Listen, you seem like a very nice person. I'm just not interested, okay? How far has it got? She's getting to know about the clock. We'll count down. Oh. What? How much time do you have left? Less than two days? It's easy to make it stop. You put an end to your work. No more nanofibers. You shut down the lab. It's simple. Who are you? Would be suspicious as well. Tomorrow, at exactly midnight, go outside and look up at the sky. Has the universe ever winked at you? Tomorrow, at midnight, you don't want it to get to zero. Nothing good ever happens at zero. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. Oh, back to nineteen sixty seven. Cool. This is how old are you? Thirty five years old. 太明朝时就在了。如果把这些书都拒倒，会有什么后果？可能其他人没有想过，但你……你这些思想很危险。我不想接受大声晨报的采访。我不是以记者的身份问你，我是白木林，一个和你有同样想法的同志。我上去过，没人知道铁门后面他们在做什么。在那工作的同志头发都掉得很厉害，林子里的动物会发出怪叫。哼、嗯，你懂英文吗 ？Silent Spring 这本书在西方世界很有影响力，它讲述了人类行为对环境的破坏。Here again, we are reminded that in nature, nothing exists alone. 你留着看吧，不过小心，别让其他人发现。哈、啊。Something bad's gonna happen to them. Do it. <laughs> Dropping seeds. Oh no. She's gonna be in trouble. 院长，对不起，是我没注意。这是不是你的？这份宣传反动大毒草是怎么落到你手里的？这不是我的。这里除了你，还有谁会讲英文？我不记得了。你可想清楚了，把他送到十部去。小同志，这炉子灭了多久了？把小叶都冻坏了。去，拿点煤来。是。Not good. You know, 
。我为什么特地来看你吗？你是黑五类叶哲泰的女儿。啊、oh, ，That's who she is。她的学生，并且成绩优异，所以在组织内很多人眼里，你是无药可救的。我不希望他们被浪费掉。你只要签个字，参加一次学习班，就可以回到兵团了。我可以先看一下吗？我父亲已经死了，但在他的领域里，还有其他人依然散布着那些反动思想。我们需要证据揭发他们。我不知道父亲跟这些人有过联系。这些内容都是真实的，你妈妈都知道，他已经签字了。我不能签，我不能作证。如果不签，你将会被军管处判刑，我可就帮不了你了。我不能签、啊，我不能作证，小杂种。Dude, this is brutal. 你的脸，你正在发高烧。What? It's going to be interesting to see what this all has to do with. What's happening in the future? Maybe she does something because she's supposedly kind of a genius, right? Oh, now she's up there. Ye Wen Jie, I'm the Hong An Airport Lead Officer Lei Zhicheng. This paper is yours, right? Yes. The possible Extensions of the possible existence of phase boundaries within the solar radiation zone and their reflective characteristics. 对，是我写的。我们的研究需要你的专业知识。这里是个军事基地，这可是最高机密的研究项目。一旦进入深航这道门内，可能一辈子都出不来了。我进去。哼。我可以在这里待一辈子。She's like fuck it. I'd rather be doing some sciencey shit than be like a prisoner for the rest of my life, which doesn't seem like it would have been that long. A strategic intelligence agency. Yep. Any progress? More than you think. Less than you want. Anything happening for with the Oxford Five? Maybe. Some strange CCTV footage on Salazar the night of Verrier's funeral. Next to nothing written about him for 42 years since he took over Daddy's oil company. Where'd he go on that helicopter? We lost him over the Atlantic. Satellite malfunction. And what about that thing in Tehran? The shiny bicycle helmet? Whatever it is, we can't get our hands on it. Are we sure it was another suicide? I wouldn't say sure. The Iranians have been... Less than completely helpful. Clarence, you've been fired from Scotland Yard, MI5, and <laughs> OSCT. That must be some kind of record. I've got a knack for failing upwards. You don't fail any higher than this, Clarence. No smoking in here. Ah. <laughs> Take it. She would want you to have it. I don't understand it. I've tried, but I just can't wrap my head around it, why she would do that. Her work, and things weren't going well. I know. It's the same for all of us. She asks all about God. Did she ever ask you? About God? We are not believers in this house. We're scientists. Did she say anything strange to you? Did she do anything strange? Video games. She was playing a video game. Vera? Yes, quite a lot. That's a video game? Where's the rest of it? That's it. Can I have it? Of course. What the fuck is that? Is that you? In another life. My first job. You're beautiful. I was. Time is a motherfucker. <laughs> no! I knew it! I was wondering. What the fuck? So it's her mother. Three months, you can see the 
炮弹，谁没有？的坐标，你记忆力还挺不错的。目标是什么？ She called it her first job. The fuck? I'd be scared to put that thing on. Well, maybe because I've been watching this show. <laughs> We ever seen one over here? No, not yet. What about the countdowns? Yes, if they happen to scientists. Suicides, if they happen to scientists. Anything strange happening to scientists is relevant. Who decides what's relevant? Wade. Who decides? He decides. Governments. Which ones? Most of them. They're not too keen on the notion of science being broken. I don't really understand the science that's broken, to be honest. I don't understand it either, but it's not good. Just be glad you're not a scientist. Shit, time to be a scientist. You're smoking a lot of weed. Yep. Is that why we're here? Is this an intervention? No. <laughs> what are we doing here? Not what you're thinking. I don't think anything. Yeah, you are, and it's not that. You asked me to come. Here I am. On this moon, this night. In this beautiful place. Tu con tantas curvas y your sin frenos. <laughs> oh, she's got to do this. Be at midnight. See the universe wink at her. What did that weird chick say to you again? Has the universe ever winked at you? She said to look at the sky at midnight and gave me this. She got ten hours left. It came out of a breakfast cereal. I looked it up. They haven't made it since 1963. What's going on with you, though? I don't want you to know. No confirmation bias. Just watch and let me know what you observe. If you observe anything, science, dude. That's why you're here, okay? I understand my role. It looks like Morse code, but it's not. You know Morse code? I know all kinds of shit. <laughs> Toasty oysters. I mean, it's not a very good name. I can think of a better name. I'd have to taste it first. The name should reflect and support what it feels like to eat the cereal. It's toasted. We know that much. Shut up and observe. <laughs> it's really got a good, like, through line of humor that kind of keeps going, that balances everything really well. We're about to get a semi reveal. So. Well, maybe they're transmitting something through time. 系统的辐射是可以调节的，发射的频率和振幅也在不断变化。如果是一个武器系统，这些都没有必要。你说的对，频率调节对于武器系统来说的确是没有必要，但是对于通讯系统来说是十分有必要。What the future? I observed the universe winking. How can it be happening? Can't. Oh. What does it say? Contact. Contact. Who? The moon. What is that? Not clouds. It's our enemy. It's not letters. It's just numbers. Which numbers? Ten, thirty-four, zero six, five, four, three, two. Boy. No, don't be over. Ah! 
I'm not gonna watch the this season. I'm not gonna watch the uh, this, this season on the three body problem. Holy mother fricker! That was so cool. Oh my god! All right, this is gonna be a winner. It's gonna be a keeper. I hope I get some um, views on this because this is great. It is number two on Netflix. It says right now. And it is new. And I did, I haven't seen any reactions to it yet online, but I, lo I love it so far. I think like a very important aspect of this is uh, in these shows like Westworld or I mean, not that there's anything like Westworld, but I mean, just the tone, like striking the right tone. And like I said, they did kind of have this sort of funny aspect, but the, f the humor wasn't really humor. It was like just realistic kind of funny dialogue or whatever. Like when that guy went up to those two girls and was, oh, what do you do? And they're like, I'm a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they're like both genius scientists. And he's like, oh, all right, see you later. You know, like that was hilarious and... Not that that has anything to do with it, but I mean, it's that, you know, balancing out the sort of like weighty, you know, the suicide and the, and the sort of, you know, her being kind of a prisoner and that the whole intro scene, you know, the cultural revolution, the purging of the scientists, you know, I don't know, man, this is really cool. Like, well, I think a lot of times about trying to, you know, like, you know, I ponder preliminary, you know, random ideas about, like, what would be a great sci new sci-fi thing or whatever. And I, usually I, I, like, this would not come up. But like, the, this has this, uh, it's hard to say, because it's hard to say what they're going to do with this. But I like how it has this, uh almost fantastic like, fantastical shit going on you know her these individuals have been seeing this countdown that they can't shake uh, you know that's obviously seems really random and magical although i was trying to think like is there some kind of an implant in them maybe we don't know if the oh Oh, and then the weird thing with the game, because we don't know if the woman, I was kind of thinking, well, the woman that committed suicide might have been another one of these scientists that was seeing the countdown, and she may be, but now we know that she was also playing this game, which seems to come out of left field. Who knows what this game is? You know, so, some kind of VR thing, but it also looks very futuristic. I mean, it's not connected to anything or anything. It's just doesn't even look like it's going to do anything if you put it on but then you seem to be very realistically replay missed you know placed somewhere else and now the, the the blinking of the universe is counting down I sort of had the feeling that the message that they were sending from the pack well, that that's what they were doing. They were saying a message from the past to the future. They didn't really say that's what they were doing, but they seemed like it was heavily implied that this blinking universe was connected to the, the thing that she's working on. And then the fact that the mother of the woman who jumped into the... Cherenkov chamber... <laughs> Uh, was the is the girl that's in the in the weird place they're doing this in the first place back in the 60s but she also seemed to kind of like not really necessarily think we don't know what she thought but she didn't seem you know like she knew anything about it being connected or anything or I guess in her mind, her daughter just committed suicide. She doesn't know necessarily that all these people are seeing a countdown or any of this. But then that universe blinking out, I don't know, that's just so wild, man. I don't know what to speculate even, really, other than it made me think, 
the universe isn't real, like that we're living in a simulation kind of thing, if the universe can blink out like that. Because it looked like it was just going to, like the stars were just going to like black screen. Like when your computer fails for a second. So there's that idea. The universe is a simulation. Maybe this is a communication from the past to the future. They've somehow kind of I think they just said at the end something like who are you communicating with whoever's out there yeah and then the fact that the universe blinking out was doing a code from the 1963 serial code thing and it was doing a countdown that was coinciding with the countdown in her head and then that the girl said what does she tell threaten her with she was like look is that you can make it stop. You just gotta stop all your research. She said something like, disconnect all the fiber optic, blah, 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 or something. And then she said, you don't want it to get to zero. Nothing good ever happens at zero. So who knows what that means? We know that at least that that one scientist had started freaking out and writing all the numbers down and then had pulled his own eyes out or stabbed his own eyes out. I have to rewatch it to know whether, I mean, like, did his countdown get to zero or was his countdown the same as hers? I guess not really. Because she was like, how much time do you have left? Like, she didn't emphasize you like that I did, but it sounded like to me like everybody that see, has this sees their own countdown. So maybe he's just saying everybody kills themselves at the end of the countdown. But she doesn't really look like she's about she, I mean she's only got 10 hours left or something she doesn't look like she's about to stab her own eyes out you know she seems like she would just kind of wait and see what would happen you know she doesn't like it it is driving her crazy but the countdown is going to come to an end at some point she doesn't look like she's out of her mind like ah what is this or anything she's more I don't know, man. All, all of this stuff looks super cool, though. <clears throat> now that I'm reacting to it, though, I'm not going to be able to binge watch it. Otherwise, I would finish it by tomorrow night. By the weekend, I would watch the whole thing. Her curses. Anyway, that was really great. Like, subscribe, comment. If you like full reactions, check my Patreon for the link down below. And I will... Definitely be following up this one with another episode. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.